Hey guys, so today I kind of wanted to get a head start on fall videos because one of my favorite things about fall is the makeup. Well, that's kind of my main favorite thing because fall in Canada kind of means you're like this close to winter. So you gotta hold on to summer for as long as possible. Literally, fall makeup is some of my favorite makeup. We can go darker, heavier, smokier. We can do vampy lips, which I am all about a vampy lip. So that's what today's video is about. My favorite fall lipsticks, although not all my picks are vampy. I do have a few nudes thrown in there just for good measure that I think are really appropriate for fall. A dark lip and a vampy lip especially can suit all skin tones. I don't care if you're the palest of the pale or the deepest of the deep. All complexions and everything in between is going to look good in a deep lip. So these recommendations I'm going to throw out are perfect for every single one of you watching this video. First of all, I'm going to start with the one that is my holy girl, hands down, absolute favorite that I found last year. If you get one, let it please be Max Diva lipstick. This is the perfect fall winter color. It's a burgundy, um, it's basically a deep burgundy with hints of red to it. It's a matte shade, which is perfect, especially if you guys are new to matte lips, because once you get it on there, it is not going to move. It's as low maintenance as a dark lipstick can be, and it's going to last forever. But I love this color. I get tons of compliments when I wear it, and I like it because it's not as dark as what I'm wearing today, but it's still definitely a deeper, more vampy color, and it's just so perfect. So this is Max Diva. I highly, highly, highly encourage it, and it's really creamy for a matte too. It's not super drying. The next lipstick is the one that's on my lips today, which is kind of what sparked this video. This is my newest one. I was shopping last week at MAC and I was like, oh, this is perfect. It is Sin lipstick and this one is deeper than MAC Diva. I would just basically say it's a deeper version of MAC Diva. It's kind of a little bit more gothic, a little bit more vampy. Like I said, it's what's on my lips today. One thing I will say about this is it is more on the side of a drying matte. It's more like a retro matte formula. So you really want to make sure your lips are hydrated so that it doesn't drag. Otherwise, it will become PC. My lips were a little ratchet today so what I had to do was um, top it with another favorite pick this is a Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade seduction this is basically the same shade as sin it's just a deep dark vampy color so what I did was I just kind of dabbed this on in the center just a tiny bit just to kind of even everything out because um, the worst thing is a dark lipstick or a matte lipstick and your flakes are showing oh no so this is seduction this is a great color too and on its own you could even wear this for a more toned down look so yeah from the drugstore I also have this one here this is Revlon black cherry this is so similar to sin lipstick it's that same really dark vampy color it's like a black and cherry this is the perfect dupe from the drugstore if you guys just kind of want to dip your toes into the dark lipstick palm but you don't want to spend $20 on a lipstick black cherry is virtually the same thing the formula on this one too is a lot more forgiving because it's a cream lipstick so it's not that super drying matte although it's not super shiny like a luster or anything it's the kind of in between so that is black cherry from Revlon I also have a NARS satin lip pencil here this is in the shade Palais Royale this is just like a deep berry sangria color it looks really really dark in the tube but on the lips it doesn't come out as dark I would say it is somewhere in between the color family of Diva and Sin but the formula on this one is great as well if you guys are someone that soft suffers from dry lips and you don't want to do the super matte thing go with the satin lip pencil because it still stays on a long time it still packs a lot of pigment but you have that slightly more comfort a slight little bit of gloss and hydration to your lips at the same time without it being like bam gloss so you still get that kind of matte appeal even though it's not matte Amy, are you making sense? Most of these lipsticks are matte, so I do apologize. This is Dark Side, and it's amplified, and oh my gosh, I love this lipstick. These are all pretty much gonna look the same when I show them on camera, because a burgundy lipstick pretty much looks the same, but this is such a sexy color. This, again, is one that you just put on, and it instantly sexifies your look and ups the ante. It is beautiful. I would say it's a little bit lighter than what I'm wearing today. It's not as dark as what I'm wearing today, but it's a true burgundy, a true vamp lipstick, and yeah, it's perfect. So showing you something is slightly lighter and more in the berry family, not so much a deep burgundy shade. Definitely more of a deep berry. This is YSL Rouge Volupte in number 12, Forbidden Burgundy. I know the name says it's burgundy, and in the tube it's going to look really burgundy, as they all pretty much look alike. But on the lips, this definitely comes out to be kind of like a slightly deeper version of Max Rebel. It's definitely got a little bit more plum to it than the others. It's not as deep and dark as this. This was the first dark lipstick that I ever purchased and wore. And I think it's a great entry one again because it isn't super dark. Taking it lighter again, I'm going to show you guys Max Rebel. Now this one 
definitely looks like a deeper shade in the tube but on your lips this goes out to me to kind of be like a plummy pink shade it's in between kind of a hot pink and a burgundy like if you mix those two colors that is what rebel gives me so it's really pretty it's a really flattering shade because it's brightening and it definitely does have a little bit of a fuchsia tint so it reads kind of more hot pink not vampy it's just a perfect berry color for the fall so if you guys don't want to go vampy which I know everyone doesn't this is the perfect option for you because you'll get that berry stain that perfect fall color it's dark than your traditional lipstick but it is not vampy at all it's just gorgeous but for nudes I have a whole nude lipstick video so I'm not gonna go too much into nudes but there are just a few new shades that I picked up more recently that I think are perfect for fall because they're not really pale dead girl nudes they're more like of that mildest but better or slightly darker mauvier you guys know what I mean so the first thing is a lip gloss this is by Hourglass this is their extreme high shine lip gloss in the shade canvas this is like a more rosy version of the Kylie Jenner lip craze that's going around right now it's not as brown it's a perfect neutral rose shade and although this is a lip gloss this goes on like a liquid lipstick it is so 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 pigmented as you guys will see in the swatch so it covers even the most pigmented lips like mine so I just usually use a lip liner like max whirl and then I'll just go over with this and it is perfect it's the perfect natural lip color and then the two lipsticks that I have are also from MAC. I'm sorry, this was like a super MAC heavy video, but MAC lipsticks are some of my favorite lipsticks. You can always find something there. This is a Mineralized Rich in the shade Posh Tone. I like this one because as you can see, it's a little bit browner, it's a little bit mauvier. So again, it's not gonna ever make you look washed out. And the Mineralized Rich formula is oh, amazing. It is so creamy. So if you guys like a hydrating, kind of more luster formula lipstick with pigmentation, the Mineralized one is great and Posh Tone is a great nude. And lastly is a matte lipstick again, and this one is kind of sexy, and this this is perfect for all year round. I wish I had kind of sexy when I filmed my top nude lipsticks video because it is the perfect nude shade ever. It's a more peachy nude, it's a peachy beige shade, as you can see. What you see on the tube goes on the lips exactly like that. So for fall, this is a, another nice one because it's a really warming shade and warms up your complexion a lot. So yeah guys, that is the end of my favorite fall lipsticks video. I know I have my top bright lipsticks video for summer, and my nude lipsticks video that I will link for you guys below. But I wanted to share with you guys these because last year was my first year getting into dark lips. I was always so scared of them. And out of all the lipsticks that I tried to find my perfect shades, these are all the ones hands down that I continually reach for over and over and over again. And I can't wait to put them on my lips and put them all to good use this year again. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys can leave your favorite fall lipsticks down below because obviously I would always love to check them out and maybe they'll make an appearance in my hauls. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!